speech attacking Hillary Clinton's honesty, Donald Trump sat down with NBC News today where he continued to press that attack. In our conversation in his New York apartment, the presumptive Republican nominee also responded to our reporting last night that found some of his claims about Clinton in that speech are inaccurate or unsupported. You delivered a speech yesterday. You went hard after Hillary Clinton. Uh, she says your speech was full of conspiracy theories and that you attacked her because you had no answers on substance. What's your reaction? I attacked her because she has been terrible at what she does, whether it's Libya, whether it's the great migration that you see, which is largely her and certainly her and Obama. She's done a horrible job. You look all over Europe, it's a disaster what's taken place. And she'll be a terrible president. So the attack is an attack really on the fact that she will be a terrible president. You made some very bold claims about her that didn't stand up when we put it. Well, you don't know if they stand up. What claim are you talking well, about? Well, let, let's talk about the, your claim that she was asleep during the Benghazi attack. He was left helpless to die as Hillary Clinton soundly slept in her bed. That Ambassador Were you Stevens there? was Were you asking. There? Were you with her? She has testified uh, before the committee that she wasn't asleep. It oh, happened during the okay. daytime. Uh, there's no evidence no, that she was It happened all during the day, and during, it was going on for a long period of time. But I guess what I'm asking, what do you, what do you, what, me, it was what going you on for on? a long period of time. And she was asleep at the wheel. Whether she was sleeping or not, who knows if she was sleeping. She well, you said she was sleeping. sleeping. She might have been sleeping. Why? Because she put out a tweet. Somebody said she put out a tweet, therefore she wasn't sleeping. Nobody else could put out a tweet. So, uh, so you stand I don't by know. what you I can said. tell you this. Whether she was sleeping or not, and she might have been sleeping, it was a disaster. It was a horrific disaster, and it was on her watch. You also made the claim that her email, personal email server, had been hacked. Her server was easily hacked by foreign governments. Suggesting that well, as you president, don't know that it hasn't. Well, been. Wait a minute, but suggesting that that she would be compromised as president. What evidence do you have? Well, first of all, she shouldn't have had a personal server. Okay, she shouldn't have had it. It's illegal. What she did is illegal. Now, she might not be judged that way because, you know, we have a rigged system. But what she did is illegal. She shouldn't have had a personal But server. is there any evidence that it was hacked other than uh, routine phishing attacks? I think attacks? I read that and I heard it and somebody that also gave me that information. I will report back to you. I'll give it to you. But you, you, you said it was such certainty uh, yesterday. I don't know if certainty. I, probably she was hacked. You know, a lot, you, you can be hacked and not know it. But she probably was hacked. The fact is she should not have it. She should not have had a personal server. You've been critical of Hillary Clinton for taking Wall Street money. Will you take Wall Street money? Uh, I'm taking very little. I'll tell you where we're doing. But you very will take well. some. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we'll have to see who comes up. I mean, but you won't take I a pledge not down, to take Wall me, Street. Let me tell you differently. I have turned down millions of dollars from people who I don't really want to give me money. Okay. She's taken tremendous amounts of Wall Street money, but I put up my own money. Now we've started raising money, and I've gone to different events. And again, a lot of money is being raised for the Republican Party. I think you'll be really surprised when you see the next report. Do you plan a debate her? Of course I do. I three look times? Forward to it. You commit to three debates? I think it's three debates, yeah. And you plan on, on doing them? Sure. Are you preparing for the debates now? I think my whole life has been in preparation, frankly. But yeah, sure, I'll be preparing like everybody else. You made an, an appeal yesterday in your speech to Bernie Sanders voters to come over to Team Trump. You're asking people who support a democratic socialist yeah. to come over yeah. to you, a symbol of capitalism. That's true. You know why? Who just told me that he may or may not take Wall Street money. Okay. Uh, let me just tell you why. Because I'm no fan of Bernie, uh, but Bernie Sanders uh, is right about trade. I mean, he's right. Now, the difference between me and him is I'll do something about it. In other words, I will actually do something about it and take those horrible deals and make them great deals for the country. Part of our conversation here in New York today, Mr. Trump leaves tonight for Scotland on a short non-political trip. After more than 24 hours, Democrats ended their historic sit-in on the floor of the House. They demanded action on gun control, vowing the fight will go on, while Republicans dismissed their protest as little more than an attention-grabbing stunt. We get details from NBC News national correspondent Peter Alexander. Exhausted but energized, House Democrats today declaring victory. 